Selamat pagi. Good morning. This is Coach Tan again. With five minutes daily with Coach Tan at 7.47 a.m. It is live on Facebook and LinkedIn simultaneously. If you are listening in, I hope that you have a good week. And this is already Friday. Thank you so much for Friday. And we want to make sure that we have the good start next week. That's why we must end properly. And so happened that today topics will be about direction. Having direction is so important. If you do not appreciate having direction, the clarity of the direction, you try to close your eye, close your eye and see how the darkness affecting you. Can you walk? Can you walk while you close your eyes? Do you know how far can you go without looking at your vision? And that is the perspective. And I hope that all of you, whether you are the self person individual or you are the managers in the company, the direction is clear. When I say clear, you really know the detailing of it, which I'm going to share shortly, the acronym C-L-E-A-R. All right, guys. Happy morning. Good morning. Selamat pagi. Kalau kamu mendengar, apakah hala tujuh kamu dalam hidup kamu, dalam kumpulan dan kelompok kamu? Adakah dia adalah jelas? Jelas ataupun tidak, tepuk dada, tanya sendiri, kan? So, let's hear the first C. The C is about the clarity. And this is not only clear from your own thinking, but it's clear that you could actually vividly visualize it. You could actually imagine it. And in specific, you know what exactly. For example, if I say I'm going to be there in Johor Bahru, let's say in four hours. And we are where about in Johor Bahru? Is it in the airport? Or is it in the one of the building, the mall? Or where about? So it must be precise and specific. Even in the mall, sometimes when you try to make appointment with someone, you found that you do not meet each other at the same place. Which corner? If you have a pillar number, what pillar number? Uh, try to imagine when you try to meet someone in the big place like airport, you have to know in specific what exactly the direction. And it got to be measurable. Uh, many, many of you may be familiar with what we call smart go, right? Specific measurable. Measurable is important. If you cannot measure your direction, you don't know whether you are making that progress. The next one is a L. L is so important. I call the L as level up. Level up. And that's very important because when you set direction, you don't want to keep repeating, recycle the old so-called goal and direction that you have. If you already reached to that place many, many times, how can you do better? How can you even level up? How could you challenge yourself to make a better progress? And level up is also giving the person momentum, motivation that they are getting excited to be there. And the E is emotion. Ask yourself, having that direction that you have, what emotion do you have? What, what, what make that feel excitement? What make that feel happy? Do you feel connected to it? Do you feel that that, that direction meaning, meaningful for you? If it's not, then you got to ask yourself, why in the first place I choose to go in that direction? Now remember, emotion is also about the journey. Just imagine if a group of you they were planning to go from, let's say, Kuala Lumpur to Johor Bahru. Take about three hours of drive. And if you, in the whole journey, there's no emotion. That means there's no talking, you don't connect, you don't have any emotion connectivity. Ah, what a boring journey. So it's not only about the end destination, but it's about the experience journey that you actually bring your team through the journey. And the A is the action. What is more important than doing, 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 doing? That is the action. Talk alone, no point, right? It is like people say, oh, I want to get more sales. I want to do more. I want to become better. But you haven't started. Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. There's always a better tomorrow, right? But until the day you actually taking action, you know that you are making that progress. Now look at revisit the current direction and your team. Are they progressing? <laughs> are they ahead or are they behind? 
or what exactly that make them start. And last but not least, the R. Don't forget, when you are stuck, when you are off align, you must realign. The R is to realign. And this is a continuous effort. Continue to realign, realign, realign. Imagine like you are driving. When do you realign? Do you realign when your car already into the drain? No. You realign immediately as you sense the awareness that you are off tangent. So you are handling the steering continuously, not only when you like it or when you want it. It's when you have to do it. All right. So remember, having a clear direction is very important, not only for you, for your team and people around you. Only together, you have a re so-called review the whole organization at home. So with this, five minutes with Coach Tan ended with the session today. And we have, again, don't worry, even though we can, I will still come online live daily too. So if you have anything that you are listening in, you are looking at this and listening to this, drop me a comment what topic you like to hear. I already have a few accumulative topics asked by many people, my coachee, my business partner, and so on. So I'm excited to share more. I hope you can always come back again and again. I'm dear coach, trust, helpful, and excellent coach. I will be here tomorrow, tomorrow, and tomorrow. See you. Bye-bye.